you, in fact, be a professional digital artist only using your phone? Today, I'm going to find out. Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in on my video. Today I'll be creating an illustration using only my phone, no tablets allowed. And to do so, I'll be using the Clip Studio Paint mobile app. Yes, that's correct. You can get Clip Studio Paint for your phone. And what a lucky coincidence that Clip Studio Paint is actually sponsoring today's video. As you probably know by now, Clip Studio Paint is my main preferred drawing program on all of my devices. So I'm extremely happy to once again be working with them. And if you'd like to try out Clip Studio Paint for yourself, whether it's for your computer, your smartphone or your iPad, just follow the link in the description below and start your free trial today. But even if you usually create your artwork on your computer or on your iPad, you can still use the Clip Studio Paint mobile app as a dedicated companion app. Using the mobile app in companion mode is, by the way, completely free and does not require any kind of plan. So stick around to find out how to set it up and use the mobile app in companion mode. Now, let's boot up Clip Studio Paint on my phone and get started on that illustration. As I said, no tablets allowed, but I am going to use this universal stylus that has this soft kind of thingy at the end. It works exactly like my fingers would. There are no features on this whatsoever. It's just a universal stylus. I'm just not going to be using my fingers because that's going to hurt my hand. So I'm going to be using this and this only and create a piece in Clip Studio Paint. So obviously Clip Studio Paint looks a bit different on a smartphone, but I think they've done a really good job considering they almost threw the entire app down on a smartphone. You can of course customize your workspace here, adding or removing any tools or panels that you'd like. These tools can be changed simply by clicking on them and selecting a new one from the main tool menu. Down here you will find the tools property panel. It's pretty identical to the desktop or iPad version. The app also still has some amazing stuff such as the symmetrical ruler and the liquify tool, which I was quite surprised to see on a smartphone version. <laughs> Layers, masks and blending modes are also fully available here. And I shit you not, you can also still use 3D models in Clip Studio Paint for your smartphone. This feature was the one that really blew my mind and surprised me the most. So now that you've had a super fast tour, let's get started on our artwork. Can I, in fact, create something on my phone, which just, you know, somewhat resembles the art that I create on my iPad or my computer? We are about to find out. A few brands or models of smartphones has pressure sensitivity, but you might be surprised to find out that the majority does not, in fact. This is something that has always been one of the main reasons why I have not encouraged artists to draw on their phone. Uh, well, I'm afraid I'll have to eat my own words now because Clip Studio Paint here actually mimics pressure sensitivity a lot on their brushes and very successfully, I'll have to admit. This is quite a game changer for me and it immediately made me so much more comfortable knowing that I had taken on this challenge. The button up here allows you to quickly shift between your current tool and the eraser, making it pretty fluent to draw and erase away without giving it any thought. And as I explained before, you can pick from all the tools in the tool menu simply by pressing on your selected tool again. The tool you select stays there until you pick another one. I was also really happy to know that one of my most used tools, the lasso tool, also known as the selection tool, and the transformation tool were also here and fully functional and easy to use, like on my computer or my iPad. Because I was working on such a small screen though, I had a hard time making the eyes just like somewhat symmetrical in this portrait here. You can of course just flip your phone and draw in landscape mode, but I stayed true to, you know, being a digital artist, just did the simplest thing I could come up with. I copied the eye, mirrored it and just pasted it. <laughs> The layers were also extremely intuitive to use due to the interface being basically the same as in the iPad and desktop versions of Clip Studio Paint. Now, line art was a bit trickier without pressure sensitivity because I couldn't draw with the varying line width. So here's a tip or a workaround, if you will, to create varying line width even without pressure sensitivity. Just draw your lines the thickest you want them and just use the eraser to remove excess lines and therefore creating the illusion that you have pressure sensitivity. 
Combined with Clip Studio Paint's mimicking of pressure, I found that the result was actually very satisfying. I was very happy and quite surprised also how close the line art was to my usual art. When I got to coloring, I wanted to test the fill tool since I use this tool a lot when I draw in Clip Studio Paint in general. At this point, I shouldn't have been surprised anymore, but the fill tool offered pretty much the same features as on desktop and iPad. And I was able to lay down my flat colors in no time with a little extra manual painting to fill in narrow areas. Now shading is what I would consider the real challenge here. Not all my usual brushes are available and without pressure sensitivity I wasn't entirely sure how this would go. At this point I had to sit back for a second and try to come up with a backup plan if my usual shading techniques wouldn't work, which I honestly didn't expect them to. But guys! What do you know? It worked out way better than I had expected. Even the mobile version of Clip Studio Paint has a dedicated blending tool. And with a few minutes of trial and error, I found a sweet spot for the soft blending tool and it worked out just as I had really hoped. My general approach to shading is starting out with a big soft airbrush to add some color variation and some soft shading. Then I go in with a hard brush and add very hard shadows and highlight areas. I might also do some colors in the shadow areas here, but it depends on the drawing. Then I will start blending the shades together, leaving a mix of soft and hard edges. To make a hard edge look a little less hard, but still hard, <laughs> I just softly blend over the line so that it blurs just slightly. So far, there hasn't been a single one of my usual tools I couldn't access on the mobile version, except for a few specific brushes, which wouldn't work anyway due to the fact that there is no pressure sensitivity on my phone. I mean, you can even use masks and clipping masks, and it's just as easy to work with as on desktop or an iPad. For shadows, I first laid down some local shading on each flat color layer that I had, then I used blending modes to add additional lights and shadows, just to simplify it a little bit. So overall, my experience using only my phone to create has been very positive, actually. I am done <laughs> trying to talk artists out of it, because now I have some really good experience that I can pass on. I did not expect to be able to create something so close to the quality of what I usually make. I mean, for frick's sake, I sometimes do even worse on computer. <laughs> Will I make a big switch and become a phone artist? Probably not, but will I start carrying my little universal stylus with me so I can doodle down ideas everywhere? Absolutely! Okay guys, here is the final result! So, can you be a digital artist if a phone is the only available tool at your disposal? Heck yes, and don't let past Nadia or anyone else stop you! And as I mentioned earlier, besides using Clip Studio Paint on your phone as a drawing app, you can use it in companion mode, which unlocks features such as quick access, color wheel, webtoon preview and more. The only requirement is that your smartphone is running on the same network as your other device using Clip Studio Paint. And it's actually super easy to set up, I'll show you. Go to your laptop or iPad and click on this little icon here in the command bar. If it's your first time doing this, you might have to allow Clip Studio Paint to use your computer's network. Allow it to do that and it will generate this QR code for you. Now bring up your smartphone with Clip Studio Paint on it and click on the same icon in the command bar up here. Then you click scan QR code. Now allow your smartphone to take a picture of the QR code on your other device and they should then have a connection. Using the Clip Studio Paint mobile app in companion mode is especially helpful for me on the iPad, because I want as few panels open as possible due to the relatively narrow space. So now I can close a lot of them and just use my smartphone instead. It's seriously a cool feature! If you like creating webtoons for instance, you can use the companion mode to preview your comic on your phone as you're working on it. You can also import any picture from your smartphone and have Clip Studio Paint create a color palette based on that picture. And then you can use the colors directly in your program from your smartphone. Or you can create a color mixing palette on your smartphone and use the colors directly on your other device simply by picking the colors off the companion.
The companion mode is actually a super helpful tool and I was actually surprised at how instant the reaction between the companion and my other device is. And as I mentioned, it is completely free to use the mobile app in companion mode. It's only in drawing mode that you're either limited to one hour of free usage per day or need a monthly plan. I'm actually pretty curious how many of you are smartphone artists? I think we can all agree that as digital artists we have a lot of tools at our disposal, especially compared to 5 or 10 years ago. So let me know in the comments below if you're a phone artist and what kind of drawing app you're using. Because using a smartphone as your main drawing device does not limit you to sit crouched over and using your fingers on your screen anymore. There are actually a lot of tablets that you can use today with your smartphone. And they come with or without a screen as well. The possibilities for digital artists today guys are just unlimited. I really can't recommend Clip Studio Paint enough and that comes straight from the heart guys. For the mobile app specifically, you can download the app for your Android as well as your iPhone and you can use it for free for one hour every day or you can do like any other human being and buy unlimited access to the app for the outrageous price of 99 cents per month. And lastly, thanks so much again to Clip Studio Paint for sponsoring this video. I can't express how happy and lucky I feel that the creator of my favorite drawing program actually wants to sponsor my content. It's really crazy. I really, really, really appreciate it a lot. So thanks so much to Clip Studio Paint. And thanks so much to you guys for watching my videos. I really, really appreciate it. Remember to smash subscribe and hit the ding dong to stay notified of my uploads. And until next time, guys, take care. Bye.